unfolding the physical realm. Let's take a whimsical walk through the world of physical development during middle childhood. Picture a blossoming garden that's akin to the body growth in these years. It's not just about getting taller or gaining weight. It's a symphony of changes. And oh, the agility and coordination that come into play. Remember when jumping rope felt like orchestrating a lunar landing? That's motor development in action, a dance of muscles and mind. But alas, every rose garden has its thorns. Common health issues also sneak in during this phase. The timing of addressing such issues is crucial. It's like fixing a leak in a dam. The sooner, the better to prevent long-term impact. The brain's sensitive periods, especially in infancy and early childhood, are like sponges soaking up every experience, shaping future capabilities. Cognitive adventures. Now, let's don our explorer hats and delve into the cognitive jungles. Piaget, our trusty guide, introduces us to the concrete operational stage. It's a time when logical thinking sprouts, but abstract concepts are still a bit like trying to catch a cloud, elusive. Information processing also takes a leap forward. Imagine a child's brain as a supercomputer, upgrading its software, enhancing memory, and speeding up processing time. This period marks individual differences coming to the forefront, like diverse paths in a labyrinthine forest. Language and learning development, too, are bustling. Children start to grasp complex grammar, the linguistic acrobats of the mind. It's not just about learning words. It's about weaving them into a tapestry of communication and understanding emotional and social landscapes. Now, let's waltz into the ballroom of emotional and social development. Erickson's theory is like a dance instructor here, highlighting the industry versus inferiority stage. Children are busy crafting their social selves, like little sculptors of identity. Peer relations become the sun around which children's social worlds orbit. Friendships are more than just playmates. They're mirrors reflecting a child's own self. Gender socialization is also at play, subtly coloring perceptions and interactions. It's like a cultural melody, sometimes harmonious, sometimes off-key, influencing how children see themselves and others. Moral development, too, steps into the spotlight. It's not just about knowing right from wrong. It's about building a moral compass, a navigator through the seas of life. And let's not forget the environmental influences the soil in which these young plants grow. Everything from family dynamics to cultural norms shapes these young minds and hearts. For instance, parenting styles significantly impact emotional and social growth. The spectrum ranges from authoritative to uninvolved, each with its distinct effects on a child's development.